Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Daryl Spiller, and today I'm gonna give my quick predictions for the Nintendo Switch event. And it's just amazing to me how we know literally hardly anything about the Nintendo Switch. In just a few hours, Nintendo's gonna unload so much information, and we're gonna know so much about the Switch and what they have for 2017. And I am hyped for this event. But before I get started, if my voice sounds a little bit different, I'm sorry, I'm just getting off of a cold, and sorry for any inconvenience, but um, I won't let that stop me from talking about the Switch and bringing hype to you guys. So, let's go. So, obviously they're going to talk about the Switch, but I think that the price for the Nintendo Switch will be around $250 for the basic model, and um, for like a bundle with Zelda or Splatoon, it could be around $300. As for the colors, I'm thinking, you know, the grays and the blacks, maybe white, but I'm not sure about a Zelda theme Switch. I mean, that would be awesome. Being a Nintendo and Zelda fan, that, that would be awesome. I'm just not sure if, you know, any would be at launch, but they want to get some units sold, man. You stick Zelda on that cover, you are going to get a lot. But um, as for memory, I can, I hope that there is going to be more than what the Wii U had. I mean, there has to be. It's a portable unit, and it's or it's got to have somehow to upgrade your storage, a SD card of some sort. But um, yeah, I believe that in this package you're going to get just the tablet and two Joy Cons, nothing else. Like a Pro controller, you would probably just have to buy separate. I mean, that's how it's been for a long time. But um. As for the games, they are going to show Zelda, and maybe the 3D Mario, I'm pretty, that's most likely going to be shown along with Splatoon and maybe Mario Kart. Um, Smash Bros. might be shown, but might be saved for later. The same could be told about the Pikmin 4 game, because they've been working about that for a long time now, and, it's, and it was said to be near completion, so it's got to be, it's got to be coming. But um, I believe they will say Pokemon and some of those other big announcements that were rumored for the E3 and other big surprise, you know, surprises. Uh, I hope to see Retro's new project, whatever that may be. And also, I think that there will be an indie game montage. I mean, that's how it's been for a lot of directs in the past. And Ukulele asked to be coming to the Switch because it was canceled for the Wii U. So that might be shown in a montage with other games from other developers too, like Skyrim and some other ones. But um, I would not be surprised if we got a Wii Sports Nintendo Land-ish game for the Switch. I mean, that's how it's been for the Wii. You got Nintendo Land, and for the Wii, they released Wii Sports, so that also brings in the fact that Miis will probably be coming back. Um, the rumored Mario RPG could be shown, but I don't, I don't know. You know, because that may be a good save for later. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. The 3D Mario, I hope, I hope this will be the return to the Mario 64 style. Where you have the power-up caps, explore land and objectives, collectibles. Maybe fight some bosses, you know, like the old games. Um, Mario Maker Switch might get shown with some new themes and objects, but I'm not 100% on that, you know. But I am predicting that Mario Kart and Splatoon will be getting major updates that make them basically new games. The new modes in Splatoon and the enhanced rumored battle mode in Mario Kart. Um, as for the eShop, I predict that the virtual console will be shown in a montage for the long rumored GameCube virtual console titles such as Mario Sunshine, Smash, Melee, Luigi's Mansion, and maybe in the future Double Dash, F-Zero GX, and Wave Race Blue Storm. This would be awesome, and maybe we could even get the rumored Mother 3 to be added as well. That would just blow fans away, because they've wanted that, and I gotta say, I'm interested in it too. So as for um, other things, going from Wii U owners to the Switch like me, I hope and I, I believe that there will be a transfer, that you can transfer your Wii U games and data to the Switch. I mean. That would be awesome. I believe that we could get a 3D Mario line for the 3D Mario game that they're going to show. The Zelda Breath of the Wild, they look awesome. Those amiibo look awesome. And I predict that there will be a cloud-based system 
where you can load games you want to take with you on the go versus downloading the whole library at one time. For an example, say you got 20 games and maybe out of these 20 games you have games that have a lot, a lot of storage. They take up a lot of storage, but you don't really want to download all of them, but they're just in your, you don't want to delete them either. What if there was a cloud-based system that you didn't have to touch, but you would just click which games you wanted for whatever travels you're taking? That would be awesome. And this also goes into the next thing, achievements. This is something that I've wanted for a long time. And with the Nintendo Network ID now, and with some of the mobile apps even, they're doing achievements. Like in Mario Run, if you play Toad Rally for three times versus your friends, you get 50 coins or whatever. Give us achievements, because... That really, it does a lot for gamers. You know, it gives you, to make you go that extra mile. And especially if it unlocks in-game stuff too. Give us better prizes, that's another thing. Bring Amiibos, it would be really awesome to see more out of Amiibo. And, before I get, wrap this up, um, on Nintendo's mobile apps like Miitomo, I predict that there will be some more updates. That just about wraps up this Nintendo predictions video but if you like what you saw or heard please sure to hit that like button smash that subscribe button ring that bell to stay up to date when I go live or upload a video and also you can follow my Facebook Twitter or Instagram to stay up to date on what I'm posting but always stay awesome keep the hype alive and I'll see you in the next video